it's books like these that make me so glad that I'm doing booktube uh, because I need to discuss this book. Uh, I not just want to discuss this, I need to discuss this. I have found my new favorite. Um, the book that I'm going to be raving about all the time now. All of the time. So many emotions. It's, it, it was an amazing book. Amazing. So today I am here to do a review on Inhuman by Cat Falls. As a quick little summary of the story, it takes place in the future where a plague has struck the United States and the eastern half is just gone. It, you know, it's just totally been abandoned and with the exception of a few little like compounds, everyone who is left behind is infected or runs the risk of being infected by this virus that makes you um, uh, mutate and turn into different kinds of animals and eventually go insane. And that's so really all I'm going to say about that because um, the rest of it is really exciting and I don't want to spoil it for you. So the story takes place to a teenage girl named Lane whose father um, has gone missing on the other side of the wall of this giant 700 foot tall wall that protects the western side, uh, the un uninfected side of the United States. Everything west of the Mississippi River is protected behind this wall and they've kind of more or less abandoned the eastern half of the United States. And it's just a really exciting adventure story about her journey over there to try and find him and um, complete a mission that will hopefully save his life and um, and it's just it's just really really exciting there's amazing characters and um, a lot of thrills a lot of emotions uh, it was just it was great I have not been this excited about any, like a book since I read like the Divergent series maybe when I was reading Hunger Games I, I think I might like Inhuman more than I like the Hunger Games which I don't know it definitely has the making to be than Hargate? I don't know. I am going to give this book 5 out of 5 stars. If you do decide to pick this up, which I really, really suggest you do, pick this book up. Oh, you're gonna be so thankful you did. The first 50 pages or so I thought were a little slow just because there was so much world building and then it picks up and, and things get real fast. I highly, highly, highly suggest this book. Please people go and read this. Please go read this book. You will love it. I'm going to be promoting this book so much. Okay, so I just finished it like a few minutes ago. It really took off. Once she got on the other side of that wall, it just hit the ground running. It was amazing. And it really, it really never stopped for me. Like it, it kept a nice quick pace. Especially the last half though, I was like cemented to this book. So many feels. Most of this book, I couldn't decide who I liked better. Rafe or Everson. And it wasn't until the very end of the book when you start to learn that, you know, he was the little boy in the castle all by himself and that he saw himself as part of her family and that uh, he hoped, oh, and then when he made that confession to the queen, that he hoped that, you know, that she would come and find him someday and she did. I was ears coming out of my face that I could control and it was just like all over the place. Oh my gosh. I was a mess. I was an absolute mess. When he told her when they're saying goodbye and he told her that it wasn't a lie, I was like tears again. <laughs> tears. Like dripping tears onto my book. As I, when I was reading, like right after I read that, the ending, I, or towards the end of the book, I made a quick little video just because I was like... <laughs> in the moment and I had to I had to capture it um before I lost like the, the freshness of, of everything that was happening. <laughs> Can't do this. <sighs> Making this little spare of the moment uh reaction to this book um because they've killed off so many people in like the last four chapters and I'm so emotional right now. I've just finished crying. So stressed out. I haven't been this stressed out since like the Divergent series. I can't handle it. Like this book is messing me up. <sighs> chapter 30. Yeah. And yeah, chapter 30 is um the death of me. Oh. 
<laughs> God. <laughs> Why? Rave. If you've read the book and you you know what happens in chapter 30, like all the stuff that happens in that chapter and like how emotional it is. I thought it was good that at the end they were able to get all those um, vials of blood samples um, because that'll really um, help contribute towards finding the vaccine. Saving Wraith, of course, because it has to happen. Like, they have to save him. Let's discuss the whole Wraith thing, okay? When Chorda bit him, book, wall, I, wanted to, I just wanted to pelt this thing across the room. I was so angry. She's gonna save him. She's gonna save him. I, yeah, so I was emotional during that. I was glad that she uh, stabbed him in the heart, which I thought was very fitting. Very good move, cat falls. Rafe pulled that line on the on Omar. In a single moment, Rafe lifted a knife from the ta from the table, flipped flipped it in his hand, and slashed Omar across the stomach. Do I pass the test? He asked coldly as the he as the head handler staggered back. I gutted the feral. Mm. So I loved Cosmo. He was adorable. Such a sweetie heart. Sweet. I don't know where I got sweetie heart. Anyway, sweetheart. And I loved his whole little Jasper, Curious George thing, and he tucked in his overalls, and I just, I, I wanted to stab Omar. It, like, literally made me sick when she, re when Lane realizes that the cape that uh, the queen was wearing was Cosmo's mom. That was just, that was too much. I, I, uh, when I was going into this book, I didn't realize how serious this book was going to be, um, and how, uh, dark of a tone this book was going to take on, um, especially just, like, with the, the overall message of the rights that have been taken away from, um, from the ferals and the manimals. It's really, it was such a powerful, image of this world that is existing um, in the eastern half and how far things have gotten. Yeah, it was just so dark and so twisted and uh, very detailed in the graphic sense, um, which made it more powerful. Nothing was being sugarcoated, which I really liked. Um, and I mean, that's the kind of, it's it was a kind of clarity and honesty of what the world was like that I'm trying to aim for for my writing so I've got to hand it to Cat Falls for that I mean there were so many moments in this book where I was just like mm, so sweet like I there were just so many sweet moments and so many just heartfelt deeply personal moments in this the story that just made it so emotional and just pulling at your heartstrings. My absolute favorite moment was when she figured out that he painted the mural in the the library. It was her father and her and and Rafe holding hands in the picture and that as a kid he you know he had painted that and you know and he saw them as a family and hoped that they would be a family someday and that just that just melted my heart. And then um I about near died and her father is in you know she's in the helicopter with him going back over to the west side of the wall he quotes the last line from his store his bedtime stories to her and it's that they loved happily ever after oh I had another meltdown right there <laughs> because it was just so so beautiful I just want her and Rafe to love happily ever after just like her father has kind of like faded that they would, you know? It doesn't feel like, like, you guys have read it, doesn't feel kind of like faded, like, it's so hard, it feels so hard faded. I want her to stop messing around with Everson, I mean, he's a sweet guy, but she's meant for Rafe. Like, we, we all know it, and she's gonna know it. Send me which part was your favorite, um, in your comments below. Yeah, um, hope you have a really good day. Um, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. Bye!